Hello, my darlings. We are continuing our conversation about ballroom makeup, competition makeup, and today our topic is eyeshadow, or I would call them eyes, right? <laughs> one is more orangey or pink so that my three colors what i use today so i'm using today uh the makeup urban K naked and i'm gonna to use several colors here i'm gonna to use their black color and i'm gonna which, which is called black market and i'm gonna to use the brown color which is called whiskey <laughs> yeah, and from another palette, which is Truth of Bear, I am going to use that orange color, no name unfortunately, yes? So usually I'm trying to use the three colors, so I don't know if you see them or not on me yet, but let me show you how I apply them, and I'm going to specifically go on that eye because it's closer to the camera and you can see much better. So what usually I do, I do kind of, I call it base color, which is my orangey or pinkish color, which is, I showed that before, this one. And you can choose your eyeshadow from anywhere else, as long as it has that tone. So what did I do? And I go on the top of my eyelid and I am trying to apply it all over above my eyelid. I'm gonna to apply it several times, so but usually I also have two levels of applying eyeshadow. So first I apply just once the eyeshadow what I need, and then probably later on I will come back and do this again to make sure that my colors are bright enough to do it. So if you're noticing, quite easy, you go on the top of your eyelid and you just blending after this what i'm going to do i'm going to, to take brown color and what i'm going to do i'm going to, to apply it right here you see 
So I'm going to make sure that the first color that I put, that orange color, is going to be seen. Then I'm going to do brown color a little bit below, but not on the top of it. On, I'm sorry, on the top of it, but not going all the way. So I'm going to leave orange color, and then I'm going to put the black color right here in the corner. So I'm going to take my brown color, and I'm going to put it now in the grease so i'm going on the top here in the crease of the eye And usually what I do after this, if you're noticing, there is a quite sharp border between my orange color and brown color. I'm going to use a regular blending brush and blend slightly between these two colors, so that, that won't be that harsh. Another step number three is to put my black eyeshadow. So that's going to be go all the way in the corner, out, outward corner of my eye. So, and I'm going to just start all the way out, slightly in, but I'm going to just stay still in the outer corner of my eye. Okay, so if you're noticing, this is already good. So if I would probably use uh, like neutral colors, earthy colors on my dress, beige and etc., greenish, I will probably put here light brown and that will be all. So, but if I'm using anything else, I can put different type of glitters right here. You can use the, uh, you can use glitter primer so to put the glitter on or you can put the concealer which is I'm going to show you next so but before I will show this remember I mentioned to you that I'm coming back and I'm doing the second time the same colors on the same places this is what I'm going to do now And again, as a final touch, I'm going to take my blending brush and try to make sure that the borders between the eyeshadows is not going to be that sharp. Now guys, what we're going to do next, we're going to take concealer that you're usually using under your eyes and I'm going to create the eyelid with that. So I'm taking my concealer noticing usually using it sometimes with different color depending what you need to cover but i'm going to take regular colors of the skin regular concealer and what i'm going to do i'm going to close my eye and try to create with my concealer going on there like if you're noticing this is like the border here i'm trying to create here a First of all, sticky place, so because I'm planning to put the glitter on it, as you can see on my another eye. And the second of all, I am trying to make sure that I don't have any eye, any other darker eyeshadow in that place. So it covers this up quite great. Yes. So if originally you don't have anything dark there, 
uh, you don't need to put a concealer you can just put the primer glitter primer and the prime and the glitter but I just placed uh, concealer because it's always served me as a primer for my glitter and I'm going to show you this glitter yes I buy all of my makeup usually in Ultra or Sesora, so pretty much it becomes quite expensive at the end when I'm coming for the final bill. But I believe that uh, makeup should be expensive uh, because it usually expensive makeup has a better quality. And when I do makeup for someone for competition or I do makeup for myself, usually I'm using very good makeup. If you're noticing, I'm taking my glitter and I'm placing the glitter where exactly where I had my eyeshadow. But it's not all. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take the Inglot. This is the name of the company. Like the wider, but if you're noticing, it's also sparkling. I'm going to take that and I'm going to also to place it in, in the corner on my eye. right here so it will be more gradual look from black to brown to silver to more wider when if anybody will come and start staring me in the eye <laughs> that will be nicely done um, in their mind so what I do next I'm gonna to do something underneath my eye so I'm gonna to use I'm gonna to use another more thinner brushes but i'm going to put the same colors what i put on the top and i'm going to mention which ones so first what i'm going to do i'm going to put my orange color that brighter color here i'm going to put it first as also a base color under my eye right here then i'm going to go with a brown color and now i'm going to do the brown color okay. and I'm doing the black color more in the outside corner of my eye voila one more thing um, I would like to take the same white color and place it on the top under my eyebrow above orange color of course to make it more brighter so again I gonna keep saying this many many times don't be afraid to do too much it's never too much in ballroom world watch it look at the rhinestones <laughs> we like to put them everywhere so by the way there was one makeup that I did with the rhinestone on my eye so maybe I will show you this one day so, but that makeup what we're doing today, it's for the people who never did the makeup before. So that will be my basic makeup that will look good on the floor. Now, what I call the process is waxing part is coming. I'm just joking. Nobody's gonna wax you girls. But remember that scotch that you place it in the very beginning, noticing how much of their eyeshadow you have. So that's why I'm using it in order to save myself the time then to come to retouch it. So what I'm going to do, I'm gently gonna to remove it. Voila, and I'm going to also remove it, not that easy, from another end. So noticing my face is clean, no fallout. My, my secret for the scotch tape not to be painful when I'm taking this off, when you cut the tape right away, uh, place it a couple of times, stick it a couple of times to your hand and then on your eye, so it won't be so painful to take it off, okay? And the final touch for our eyeshadow will be to use the same concealer that we used before. Um, I'm gonna to just to use it one more time again. And if you're noticing, I'm gonna just to place it outside of my pattern of my eyeshadows, just to make it clean, to make it look more neat, so it won't be any falls out. And if anybody looks at you, you will look just perfect. So, don't worry, it's not the 
final thing that you need to do under your eyes we're going to take care of your eyes when we're going to put the foundation but for right now just to to show more the sharpness of your shadows look at this beautiful line right so to show this i would like to add the concealer and now voila i think i think it's just go whoa tiger on you all right so now we are done with our eyeshadows and the next part is going to be our eyeliner so subscribe to my channel to receive the next video very soon